Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Because in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new and upcoming Lordstown Endurance. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it crushes the competition or not. Oh, and one more thing before I start. You know what electric cars say to each other when they meet up? What's up with y'all? Okay, now back to the video. The Lordstown Endurance, which will debut in 2022, sounds more like an English marathon rather than an electric pickup truck, but it is the latter. The Endurance is being advertised as the first EV truck to see the light of day and join the US market as part of the avalanche of EV trucks now on the horizon. That is, according to Lordstown, which hasn't revealed many of the light-duty pickup specifications or even a peek on its interior. Nonetheless, the version shown to the public appears to be ready for production, and it isn't susceptible to the same exaggerated promises as the Tesla Cybertruck. The Lordstown Endurance is a full-size electric pickup truck idea by Lordstown Motors that will be built no earlier than April 2022, as of October 2021. The vehicle had no definite orders from the corporation and it will be the company's first mass-produced vehicle. Following the September announcement that the Lordtown Auto Factory will be sold to Foxconn, the Endurance was initially scheduled to go into production in 2020, but was pushed back to 2021. In October 2021, it was pushed back to April 2022. Work on the workhorse W15 began in 2016. The W15 was moved to Lordstown, which licensed the W15's technology. The Endurance is built around the W15. The automobile company Lordstown Motors, which was founded in fall 2019, gave the first basic details about their car in the second half of December 2019. Lordstown Endurance is the name of the electric pickup truck, which features an avant-garde design that blends the traditional proportions of a semi-truck with lights that creates a single line with embossing. Lordstown revealed and unveiled the first official designs of the Endurance passenger compartment in mid-June 2020 with the pickup's global debut taking place on June 25th of the same year, despite the fact that the business has no solid orders for the vehicle. Company executives stated in June 2021 that they expected to begin production in the fall of 2021 and that they had adequate money to manufacture until 2022. However, the business cautioned that it was having trouble collecting enough funds to start full production and that the US $587 million is reported in the most recent quarterly SEC filing and would not be enough to go to full commercial production. Following the September announcement that the Lordtown car facility will be sold to Foxconn for $280 million, the Endurance's projected production date has been pushed back to April 2022. The Endurance will be built in Lordstown Motors facility in the same name Hamlet in the United States state of Ohio, where the GM factory used to be. The Endurance will be first mass-produced commercial vehicle to feature in-wheel hub motors, and with strong demand, it is slated for a home run. With more than 100,000 pre-orders to date, design and engineering. According to the facade photographs, it will be a sport with a four-door crew cab body style. This should result in a level of passenger space that is competitive with other trucks of similar size. The product looks to be more complex than the rudimentary Bollinger B2, which implies that its cabin will be more comfy and up-to-date than the Bollinger B2. Considering Endurance's close relationship with General Motors and the fact that the prototype vehicle was built on a Chevy Silverado donor body, I believe it will have style and features that are comparable to those seen in the Silverado and GMC Sierra 1500. LMC is positioned as a major mover in the EV industry with a 6.2 million square foot plant, formerly owned by General Motors and the background of numerous key workers with strong credentials from businesses like GM, Tesla, Toyota and other paired with the concept of the car. Not only have the gears been efficiently removed from the design, but also the drive shafts and universal joints, decreasing the number of moving parts from thousands in standard cars to only four in endurance. Lordtown Motors sought the support of any outside consultancy to develop its first vehicle and forged a strategic online with Hydra Design Labs, a full-service automotive design agency founded by experienced automotive designer John Hull in 2010. 
Hydra created the vehicle's exterior, interior and CMF as well as CAD design surfacing, scale modeling and final full-size prototype model which was built on Lord Town's chassis with a team of key designers and experts with over 30 years of OEM expertise. Renderings of team's design were released in May 2020 with a full-scale model following in late June the requirement given to Hydra by Lord Town Motors was to create a work pickup vehicle that was especially specialized for commercial and fleet use. Tough, rugged, clean basic lines and a distinct inventive style were among the buzzwords used to appeal to the utility company and delivery industry consumer demographics. The concept would be built on a brand new battery electric platform with cutting edge in-hub motors. John Hull, Dan Sims, Mike Desmond, Chris Schutera and Gary Regal were major members of the Lordtown Endurance design team. At every stage of the project, all four key designers were involved. Based on the team's early ideas, Mike Desmond's outside design was chosen, while Chris Shatera's inside design was chosen. Mark Ferrara directed the modeling team that built the 40% claim model in-house, while John Hull and Dan Sims handled the model's design. As a team, we wanted to have certain components that communicated the electric nature of the drivetrain in a straightforward way, explains Dan Sims. Project Lead and Principal Designer the front end deviates from modern ICE pickup trucks, typical grille dominant style. We also had to create a new style within the confines of a rather classic profile. The hub motors are used as a design feature on the wheels, and there's a ribbon-like element on the outside that neatly integrates a lot of exterior and internal functional aspects such as ventilation, cooling, and lighting. As a tribute to the EV powertrain, the design is suggestive of circuit lines. The project began in mid-June of 2019 and moved rapidly in less than a year. The Hydra Design Lab team provided a wide range of drawings in numerous topic areas, according to Hull, and the first design brainstorming process passed by quickly. Lordstown Motors chose the interior and exterior theme direction during the third week of August last year, Hull explains. Since then, we've been working constantly to improve the design and collaborate with the Lordstown Motors technical team. This was an expedited program to satisfy the needs of our customer. Hydra designed the Lordstown Endurance in Orange County, California, starting in the studio and moving to remote labor throughout the epidemic. We were in frequent contact with Lordstown Motors and collaborated with their technical staff remotely. Hull explains, Hydra Design Labs has been outfitted to work remotely as needed since our inception. Thus, our design process was not hindered in the least as we transitioned to remote work in March. Developing a new product is usually fraught with difficulties. This manifested itself in Hydra's design as a pickup truck, which retained a certain amount of familiarity and practicality while simultaneously taking a radical step ahead in terms of overall shape and form. The truck's design has to represent the platform's technical advancements while also being a strong vehicle capable of withstanding severe service. Sims explains, It requires a realistic pickup truck design that allows for the use of bed-mounted toolboxes and other truck accessories while also communicating a clean, modern, all-electric powertrain for fleet usage. We tried to strike a compromise between a no-nonsense work truck profile with more headroom and totter lines and fresh new elements and a never-before-seen front-end design. The team discovered that the Endurance's electric drivetrain arrangement and tiny in-hub motors freed up room under the hood, allowing them to experiment with novel packaging options. Because we didn't have to build the vehicle to fit a typical front-mounted engine, Hull explains, the Lordstown Endurance boasts a lockable front trunk, something no other pickup truck in history has ever given. We approach the wheel as a one-of-a-kind design challenge, Hull continues because we wanted to emphasize that the Endurance will be the first production vehicle to feature in-hub motors. We looked at a lot of design options before settling on a final design. We used cooling fins between the spokes to help dissipate the heat from the motors and we went for anodized orange for a coppery electricity-like effect. We wanted to create a discussion point that highlighted the in-hub motors because they are so unusual. Finally, the Lordstown Motors team desired a visually stunning, practical truck that employees would be proud to drive, as well as a smarter, safer, and more productive work vehicle that would appeal to company workers and owners. Hydra Design Labs was also able to accomplish this aim while also delivering the package with some unique features. Interior I have no idea what the interior of the Endurance will look like because I haven't seen a single spy image or even a rendering of it. A touchscreen infotainment system will almost probably be included in the Endurance. The sort of controls that will be available to alter the interface is less definite. 
While some manufacturers prefer physical buttons and knobs for their intuitiveness, others believe that touch-sensitive interfaces are more enticing. We like the earlier arrangement and we think Lordstown will agree because features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, satellite radio and a Wi-Fi hotspot are so desirable. We believe the Endurance will be able to provide most, if not all, of them. Performance. According to certain accounts, the Endurance's futuristic hub motor system will provide a total of 447 kilowatt. This four-wheel drive system has an electric motor positioned directly in each of the truck's wheels, reducing the amount of moving parts and, according to Lordstown, increasing dependability and lowering maintenance costs. Although I don't know any additional details regarding the Endurance, two films of a prototype undergoing chassis testing have been circulated. They show the truck traveling over a washboard-like surface, ascending a 15% incline and driving through muck, among other things. The later video shows a close-up of the Ram, 1500's solid rear axle which is supported by leaf springs and won't deliver a smooth ride just as the Honda Ridgeline's independent rear suspension or the Ram 1500's coil over system. The Endurance will be able to pull up to 6,000 pounds, but Lordstown hasn't revealed any information on its cargo capacity. That's a far cry from the Rivian R1T, and Cybertruck's claim towing capacities of five figures. It's more akin to mid-size unibody trucks like the Ridgeline and most likely the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Battery life. The Endurance is said to have a range of roughly 250 miles, but the business hasn't revealed any details on its battery capacity. While that amount seems reasonable, given the existing range of many EVs, it falls short of the R1 Maximum T's estimate of 400 miles and the Cybertruck's clearly ambitious promise of 500 miles or more. Price and model range Lordstown has said that the next Endurance will have a starting price of $52,500 before tax credits, although it has not stated what options and trim levels, if any, would be offered. However, since the end of last year, the manufacturer has started collecting $1,000 deposits as pre-orders. This wraps up my review of the Lordstown Endurance. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.